Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's Friday. It is the 12th day of January. Today is Feast of Fabulous Wild Men Day. <laughs> well. All right. Kiss a ginger day today. So if you've got red <laughs> hair, you better just stay home today. You're going to get kissed everywhere you go. National Curried Chicken Day, Hot Tea Day, Kettlebell Day, that's like for weightlifter folks, Uh, Marzipan Day, that's for people who probably don't lift weights, (laughs) like me, Uh, National Pharmacist Day, Roast Day, Uh, National Roast Day, I didn't realize there was such a thing, but we should have a roast today. Uh, What else is it? Work Harder Day and Stick to Your New Year's Resolution Day. I bought a roast, but it's on the schedule for Sunday. Maybe we'll have to change that. Yeah, we can do it. We'll celebrate delayed by a few days. (laughs) All of that happening today on this Friday. And I've got a guest joining me. Very, very funny man. Dan Crone is my guest. He's a stand-up comic, and I'm excited to chat with him about his latest special, You Can Do Better, I think is what... No, it's... You're better than this. That's what it's called. Okay. You're better than this. That's the name of his special. I'm excited to chat with him all about that coming up. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. How are you making out on those New Year's resolutions? Today is stick to your New Year's resolution day. How about dry January? You doing good? Is that a thing of the past? Well, you're not alone. The average drinker only lasted about, well, till the 10th of January and their attempt at not drinking alcohol during dry January, according to a survey. The survey asked 2,000 Americans over 21 to reflect on their experiences with dry January and their overall overall drinking habits. Results show 7 in 10 respondents, uh, 69% actually, had given a challenge, a shot at one time or another, and then they had a shot instead. (laughs) Over half said their attempt was unsuccessful. Even if you made the attempt, I'm first, I'm happy for you. If you made it, you know, a few days, that's better than going without doing it for a few days. Uh, it says the poll found that 4% of respondents failed dry January on New Year's Day. 4% didn't make it even a full day. So, interesting stuff. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com? That's insurancechicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know, just when we were thinking about making a headway and eliminating the environmental disaster that's in the making, that plastic drinking straw thing, comes this. Scientists at the University of Antwerp, a bunch of Antwerps there in Belgium, say the paper straws are not quite the uh, ecology solution. How would you say that? Eco-solution? Eco-solution, whatever it is. Eco-friendly solution. That everybody was thinking. Uh, They say they argue that some plant-based eco-friendly alternatives to plastic may be silently contributing to PFAS, that's forever chemicals. So these are things that are not going to go away. They tested 39 different straw brands made from plastic, paper, glass, bamboo, or stainless steel. They found PFAS in almost all of the materials. Stainless steel was the only consistent exception. That's what you have, isn't it? A stainless yeah, steel straw? I do. Apparently, to make paper and bamboo straws water repellent, manufacturers appear to add PFAs. And that doesn't work, by no, the way. No, either that or they use recycled material that contains forever chemicals. Scientists concluded that cutting back on plastic can help, but only substantial if the alternatives are PFAS-free. Here's the thing that's interesting. You know, paper straws come in a plastic wrapper. Does that seem weird? <laughs> I think that seems really weird. Anyway, I know they're trying to solve the problem, but keep working on it. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. NCIS Hawaii has teased that LL Cool J's permanent return (laughs) to the show 
is probably a thing. It's in a, in a poster. They had a poster that came out. All right. And then everybody was talking. There's a lot of buzz about LL Cool J joining season three as a regular guest star, okay. which is kind of the thing. That's what they're talking about is having him back. And Nick Offerman, uh, there's a lot of folks that like him from uh, Parks and Rec, his, his oh, character yeah. on there. But he's got another character people love, Frank from The Last of Us. Well, now the idea has been pitched to him to return as Frank. Uh, and this would be for a show called, I don't know what it's called, but it's a, a prequel. So before okay. The Last of Us is set. Okay. And somehow they say it could be a musical. So I don't know. Oh, I don't gosh. know if he's. I won't be watching. I do not like musicals. I don't know if he's kidding about that, but uh, I don't know. I just think that's. How would you make that? I don't know. Who I don't knows? know. I'm not Big a fan. Big screen, little screen brought to you by insurancechicken.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a mint. Intervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Dunkin' Donuts plans to double their number of locations in the United States. Really? Yeah, so they're saying we'd like to open some more locations. But in other Dunkin' Donuts news, they're, get, they're getting sued right now. Dunkin', well, listen to this story. Dunkin' Donuts customer files a $100,000 lawsuit claiming a toilet explosion oh my gosh. caused severe injuries and he was covered in feces, urine, and debris. Oh, my gosh. So how did the toilet explode at the Dunkin' Donuts? Oh, he must There's, have gone to first. I'm not even going to let that slide. I bleeped out <laughs> because it doesn't matter where, she said. But it was... It was, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and speaking of completely different fast food chain now, the Burger King veteran who went viral for never missing a day of work in 27 years, and he inspired people from all over the world to donate yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars to him. He didn't. Other people did. He just bought a house with the money. Aww. Kevin Ford posted a video update with details about his new home in Nevada. His life was changed when June of 2022, that's how long ago this was. Right, I remember it. A viral video showed him receiving a gift from management for his dedication to the job. He didn't miss... And he was very happy with yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't miss a single shift in 27 years. What did they give him at the Burger King? They gave him a Starbucks tumbler, a bag of Reese's candy, some pens, and two rolls of Lifesavers, and a few other small items. Ford was very grateful. He expressed gratitude for the gift. And it got an overwhelming response, many people saying he deserves way more than that. So a GoFundMe was set up way back then, not by him, but by people who right. said he deserves more than that. 27 years and never missed a single day of work. And now the money from that, he was able to purchase a home. So that's fantastic. That, I think that's really cool. All right. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Invite your friends and family over to make memories with a fun game night. VerySpecialGames.com has five fun games that will help everyone have a blast. Games like Ransom Notes, The Ridiculous Word Magnet Game, Abduction, A Weirdly Strategic Game of Duck Kidnapping, Vins with Benefits, The Hilarious Venn Diagram Game, Puns of Anarchy, The Outrageous Pun Making Game, and Charty Party, The Game of Absurdly Funny Charts. Find these fun games and more at VerySpecialGames.com. That's VerySpecialGames.com. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. It's a comedy call with Dan Crone. Dan has a new project out. It's called You're Better Than This. Dan, welcome to the program, but I got to say, you're better than this. Thank you so much. And that's an actual heckle that I received at a show. So luckily to get that heckle to name my album. I, I actually had a chance to listen to the album, and I think it's a fun, fun story. And you're a very funny guy. You were a teacher at one point. Tell me a little bit about how that worked out. Were you a good teacher? Yes. So oh, phenomenal. I'm, 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 you know, I, I tell people uh, humor and the classroom is a stage. Humor gets you through most things. So um, if you're able to be funny, kids will listen to you no matter what. You're, you know, it breaks down their nervousness and uh, their apprehension of adults. Um, so uh, again, my sense of humor has got me through uh, most 
career paths in my life and led me to stand up thankfully. You're right. Uh, humor gets you through so many things. And, and in addition to being uh, a teacher, what are some of the other jobs that you had before doing stand up full time? Oh, I, you know, I worked at a ice cream store. I think that was the beginnings of, of uh, always worked with kids, always just, just great with kids. Um, again, I'm, I'm enormous. I'm six foot four. And when children see a tall person, they just want to talk to you. So they will just stop what they're doing and then they'll walk right up to you and go, you're tall. Um, <laughs> other jobs I've had though, um, you know, I had a job, uh, in, during my comedy career, I, you know, when I quit teaching to pursue stand up comedy, uh, I had a moment of like, I think I can really do this. And then of course, comedy can knock you right back down where, uh, after, um, last comic standing on NBC that I, I, I did, uh, you know, I, I didn't move on to the next round and I came home a little defeated and then started working um at the Apple store selling <laughs> iPads it was always a dream of mine to work retail I had never done it before uh, and again what a thrilling job to use my sense of humor it got me through it I, I broke all the new records of a new hire uh, for the short three months that I was uh, involved in it uh yeah 37 years old working in a mall and then uh, quit that because I was getting recognized at the mall it was a little well when you're six foot four right. you probably get you stand out a bit don't you correct yeah you know people one of my bits is uh people assume tall people are our success and I'm here to tell you that it is not accurate. <laughs> now, for folks that are not familiar with your style of humor, how would you describe your stand-up comedy? Is there a, a somebody that you're like at all, or is there somebody that, that people compare you to often? Yeah, there were, you know, not many well-known comics that people would know sort of nationally, uh, but a lot of Boston comedians that come out of Boston. Boston has a specific comedy style that's very rapid-fire, machine-gun delivery, so lots of punchlines, as many jokes as you can tell within the parameters of your material it doesn't really leave the audience uh, able to heckle or talk you know we just we're kind of just hammering at home as you know word efficiency i'm very interested in you know again one of my biggest influences is steve martin so i oh, like yeah. to think i'm kind of zany yeah. kind of like steve but specific comics that are out of boston and again these aren't really national uh, names but don gavin and kevin knox those are some of my biggest influences that were um lo the local comics that um again comics that talk very fast again try to maximize their jokes within within their uh, their their stage time and the notes that i have written down i had written down the words rapid fire because i think when you get up and, and do your thing there's just so much like i almost don't have time to finish laughing from the last thing and you already have me laughing yeah. about the next thing and i love that yeah i love the role of seeing audiences and not able to recover from the last thing you said. You know, sometimes it works against you. You can, there's a term called stepping on your laughs where you feel uncomfortable with the potential silence. So you go on to your next, your next joke and sometimes they're laughing and you have to kind of let, let that sit and let it sort of breathe. Um, but it became sort of a, a style choice of mine where I was like, no, let's just keep going. Let's, <laughs> let's see how many jokes I can tell in a minute. Um, and, so that, that's, it, yeah, it's very specific, that style. Very, I would very say New England. You have found a great way to do it. The timing on everything just seems to work really, really well. Now, for folks who would like to catch this new project, where do we go to listen to the entire project? Yeah, definitely. It'll be out on Apple Music, on, out on Spotify, streaming everywhere. Um, those are all available on my socials. So Dan Crone Comedian on Instagram, uh, my website, dancrone.com, uh, Facebook, Twitter, X, whatever that's called now. Um, it'll, it'll be um, on Pandora, uh, my second album. Um, you're better than this. Yeah, very proud of it. And it is very funny. I got the chance to listen ahead of time. Dan, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Awesome, John. Thanks again for having me. I appreciate it. And I'm going to throw a link to make it really easy to find all of that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows, you might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Two-thirds of the world's lawyers live in the United States. That does not surprise yeah. me at all. And, uh, yeah, it, it, here's the thing. There's some really good ones, and there's some really not so good ones. But I think that's the case for everything. <sighs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Mexico's official name is the United, uh, United Mexican States. 
That's the oh. official name. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There's a town in Norway called Hell. Ironically, it gets very warm there. It never gets very warm there. That's why it's ironic. <laughs> I read it wrong. <laughs> and another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Dolly Parton once entered a Dolly Parton lookalike contest and lost to a drag I queen. I know. Isn't that crazy? That is really sad. Yeah. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There's an island in Japan that is only inhabited by bunnies. And I yes, think we've talked about that you before. You can visit this bunny island if you want to. Would you like to go check out an island filled with bunnies? No. No? It's not your thing? No. What would be the point? I don't know. They're just cute. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from Insurance Chicken? Chicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. 15% of us have not washed this item of clothing in the past six months. What is it? Uh, oh. The blue jeans? No. Six months for blue jeans? No. Uh, well, bathrobe. I picked yours up off of the floor a few times. It <laughs> it's not six feel months, like though. It. No. Uh, a bathrobe. And I never really oh, thought about yeah, that, that, but makes... I suppose it gets you hang it up to dry and you kind of forget about yeah. it and you use it again. But here's the good news. You just finished taking a bath before you put it on, so it shouldn't be too Unless dirty. you wear it around the house, like yeah. on the weekends and I stuff. I suppose. All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint at just $15 a month. That's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A man in Wales set up a camera in his tool shed to find out why objects were moving around, and he discovered a tidy little mouse was tidying things up in the place. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? (laughs) Rodney Holbrook said the mystery began with some bird food that he stored in a shed, ended up uh, in an old pair of shoes. So the wildlife (laughs) photographer set up a camera and ended up recording footage of a mouse making his nightly visits to round up small items that have been left out, placing them in a small tray on the shelf. Usually the tidy mouse worked alone, but occasionally he was accompanied by one or two other tidy mice. The tidy mouse and his cohorts have placed things like nails and cable ties and small tools into the tray in an indifferent I'm sorry in an apparent effort rather at hiding nuts Holbrook oh says Oh my gosh that is the cutest thing It happens every night without fail How cool is that That is so cute It is cute but it's also kind of weird can't even imagine just uh, it's better that than there's a lot of other things it could oh, be Oh for sure Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. The most anticipated movies of 2024, part three. Twisters. I never know any of these. Twisters. You've heard of that. July 19th. It's a sequel to the 96 tornado disaster epic. It's their children. Uh, Deadpool 3. You've heard of that. July 26th. Ryan Reynolds will be back. Uh, Hugh Jackman will be on this as well. Um, uh, Borderlands, August 19th. Let's see. uh, Kevin Hart, Jack Black. Uh, Craven the Hunter, August 30th. See if I know anybody. It's a Marvel film. Okay. Uh, Beetlejuice 2, September 6th. Tim Burton is back on that. And also Michael Keaton is back and many others. Transformers 1, September 13th. Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth, uh, Scarlett Johansson and others. Saw XI, so Saw 11, September 27th. And uh, Joker... Fali Edu, Lady Gaga, joins Joaquin Phoenix in the musical follow-up 
to oh Joker. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. And there's going to be more of these. The list is not quite done. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Invite your friends and family over to make memories with a fun game night. VerySpecialGames.com has five fun games that will help everyone have a blast. Games like Ransom Notes, the ridiculous word magnet game, Abduction, a weirdly strategic game of duck kidnapping, Vins with Benefits, the hilarious Venn diagram game, Puns of Anarchy, the outrageous pun making game, and Charty Party, the game of absurdly funny charts. Find these fun games and more at VerySpecialGames.com. That's VerySpecialGames.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. Quote today comes your way uh, from Oscar Wilde, who said, The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Yeah, I know that feeling. (sighs) You know what I mean? It's like the only thing worse than being invited to a party you don't want to go to is not being invited to the party. (laughs) You know what I mean? It's kind Uh, of the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. It's like, I didn't want to go anyway, but I can't believe they didn't invite me. I've heard you say those exact words. Quote of the day <laughs> comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. And uh, I think this is a, a pretty cool story right here. Uh, This happened in Birmingham, England. There was some intense flooding there. And Liam Stitch, a 28-year-old road worker engineer, witnessed a car sinking into a swollen river. Without hesitation, he bravely rescued a 3-year-old child and her mother, saving their lives. How amazing is that? That's pretty crazy. Leisurely stroll with his pregnant partner, Tia, when they unexpectedly encountered this very precarious situation. Footage captured the intense moment as Liam, driven by instinct, smashed the rear passenger window of the car using ratchet straps. He skillfully secured the vehicle to the bridge railing, preventing it from sinking any further. Because this this vehicle, like if you see in this video, it's not just sitting there. It's literally getting pulled away in the, the storm waters. Right. And it's like floating away, and he helped stop that from happening, and then he got them out of there. Despite wow. being hailed as a local hero, he says, uh, no, it was just instinct. He says, we were walking over a bridge. I heard a woman scream from inside the car. She was saying, help me, help me. Please save my baby. She's in the back. Oh, wow. So despite the challenges, he successfully rescued the little girl first. And then he, uh, it says, by hurling her into Tia's lap, then uh, positioned the, the, she was up on the bridge, by the way. And she was the one recording all of this. And then he saved the mother as well. Wow. So if you'd like to see the video, it's very shaky camera footage because while well, they weren't just planning on, you know, putting this on a tripod and everything else. That is so, crazy. So when you watch the footage, it shakes around a whole lot. But again, keep in mind, they were in the middle of a very, very dangerous thing. And this, at the end of the day, is a, a very heroic effort on everybody's part. So... I think it's really cool. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday.